Hi everyone. So you're probably wondering what video is this? Just kidding. You see it in the thumbnail and in my video title, but um, I have been wanting to do a palette rotation for some time now. Um, I've been wanting to do like a monthly palette like monthly eyeshadow palette basket kind of thing. And I want to make it a goal to pull for 10 palettes each month and focus on those 10 palettes for the month. Um, of course, I can reach for other things within my collection, but I really do want to focus on those 10 palettes. And because it's kind of spring getting into summer, I definitely want to reach for more of like, I guess like my colorful, more pastel type color stories. Um, so I have three drawers currently that are devoted to eyeshadow palettes. So in this drawer, I have my more like luxury palettes, also just like some other brands as well. So like I have Pat McGrath over there as well. That's Urban Decay, Natasha Denona, Melt, and then Anastasia Beverly Hills, and then this is Lunar Beauty. And then these are my Patrick Ta palettes here. So keeping in mind, again, just kind of like that theme of spring, but also again, just trying to keep in mind palettes that maybe I haven't used in a while. I do wanna reach for 10 palettes or pull for 10 palettes rather. I think what I wanna do is go for my ABH Norvina palette. This is definitely on its last legs within my collection, but it is just one of my favorite palettes in the entire world. I love it so much. It is super beautiful and I do want to get some use out of that. So that'll be one palette. Um, I also do want to, let's see here. I think I wanna go for my Natasha Denona Retro Glam Palette. This is, oops, <laughs> this is a palette that I'm not convinced that I love it. Um, I do think that when I tend to go for more of the pinkier options in the palette, I really enjoy the look. But for some reason, when I do like an all green palette, I just don't love the way that these greens look on me. So I need to play around with this one some more and I'm hoping that pulling it into my monthly makeup basket kind of thing uh, or monthly eyeshadow palette basket, I'll be able to get some more use out of it. So that's palette number two. Um, and then I kind of do want to pick out maybe one or two more palettes from this drawer here. So I definitely want to reach for this one. This is my Lunar Beauty Nude Prism Palette. This is such a beautiful, beautiful palette. I cannot get over how stunning this palette is, just how stunning the shimmers are in this palette. One of the most prettiest shades are the shades Sam and Laura there. Super, super beautiful and it's perfect for every day. It's a beautiful neutral palette and I think it'll be something that it's great for summer as well. And I might come back to this palette, but or this drawer, I mean, but I think we're good here. Okay, so in here, I have my just high-end palettes. So I have like some Tarte palettes, again, ABH, Too Faced. I have two kind of, um, what are these? Like indie brands, NARS. This is a Lorac palette, more Pat McGrath, Cindy Gra Sydney Grace, Nabla, Beauty Bakery, and then Huda Beauty. I do know for sure that I want to pull for the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Palette. Such a stunning palette, haven't used it in a while. It has the most beautiful pastels and the shimmer shades are just so, so stunning. So definitely wanna pull for that one. So that's palette number four. Have six more palettes to choose from. Um, I do also want to pull for the Give Me Glow Cosmetics Pastel Dreams palette. You already know how much I love this palette, how much I just enjoy it. I love the pastel color story. I think the pastels, especially in this formula, just perform so, so well. So definitely want to get some love out of this one, especially before spring completely leaves us. Okay, I also do want to pull for my What's Up Beauty Geodes eyeshadow palette. This is relatively new to my collection. Um, it is 
is so, so stunning. It is one of the prettiest color stories that I've ever seen. The purple shades are seriously calling my name. So definitely want to reach for that one. Um, and then I think I'm also, I think I'm also going to pull for my Tarte. Um, this is the Tartlet Juicy Palette. And I have not used this in the longest time. I just want to make sure that I still enjoy this palette, that I still um, think it performs pretty well. So let's reach for that one. So only three more palettes left to pick. Um, and let's go to my drugstore collection really quickly. Okay, so these are my more drugstore palettes. So I have like BH here. Really, really love those palettes as well. Um, Stone Cold Fox. I also have Bare Necessities and I think Smoke and Roses, I think, or something like that. And then I might pick that one. I'm not sure. Um, let's actually go for this one. This is the ColourPop Wild Nothing Palette. Definitely need to... Well, do I want to use this one now? This is actually giving me July vibes. I don't know why. Or like September. I don't know. Do I want to use this one right now? This isn't really giving me June vibes. Like, I don't know why. Yeah, let's save this one. I thought I wanted to use that one, but let's do something else. All right, so let's go ahead and go with my BH Cosmetics Avocado Toast Palette. Haven't used this one in a while. Absolutely love the color green, especially for eyeshadow. It is so, so stunning. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull for this one. So only two more palettes left to pick. Um, I do want to pick one more from here. Okay, so I don't have a lot of cool tones, so let's go for the ColourPop That's Taupe palette. This one will be my just kind of everyday, more cool tones palette. I have some warm tones, neutrals, kind of like more pinky tones, some greens, purpley tones, that kind of thing. And then let's pull for one more palette. Okay, so I also do have palettes in here. These are my more just kind of smaller or like mini palettes. Um, so I have like these from Revlon and CoverGirl, Wet n Wild back here. And then in here, I have my more like high-end palette. So like Tom Ford, Natasha Denona. Let's use one of the Natasha Denona palettes. So I have mini gold, mini love, mini retro. What is this one? I think this one's mini star. Yes, mini star. That one's actually kind of a nice option. So maybe that one. Mini Biba, that could actually be pretty nice. Hmm. And then I have mini glam. I have cool tones, so maybe not that one. And then I have mini nude. I feel like it's kind of between these two. I don't know. Do I want to reach for one of these? Because I also feel like I don't use my Tom Ford very much. Also, my Rowan could be an option too. Oh yeah, and I also have palettes in this drawer. So in this drawer, I have ColourPop, more ColourPop. What's this one? Oh, that's LA Girl. Ooh, let's do this one. I have yet to use this one this year. This is the Essence Coral Me Maybe eyeshadow palette. Um, this is perfect for this time of year. I'm so glad that I remembered that I had this other drawer with little palettes. So here is what this one looks like. Very, very beautiful. I think perfect for this time of year also. So let's pull for that one. And these are all of the eyeshadow palettes that I'm going to be playing around with. Please excuse my messy desk. I'm so sorry. But just to recap, I have the Essence Coral Me Maybe palette, the ColourPop That's Taupe palette, the BH Cosmetics Avocado Toast palette, the Tarte Tartlet Juicy palette, the What's Up Beauty Geodes palette, the Give Me Glow Pastel Dreams palette, 
the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Palette, the Lunar Beauty Nude Prism Palette, the Natasha Denona Retro Glam, Retro Glam Palette, and the ABH Normina Palette. So these are all of the palettes that I'm going to be focusing on this month. And by this month, I mean the month of June, and then we will repick um, or put all of these back into my collection and then pick out 10 more eyeshadow palettes for the month of July. I'm so excited to get working on these and just creating some really nice looks. I will try my best to take some selfies of the looks that I've created with these palettes because I think that y'all enjoy when I do that. But which palettes are you reaching for this month? I would love to hear from you. Also, if you want to do this along with me, let me know. I would love to hear your progress on your palettes, love to hear which palettes you're picking, and let me know if you're going to do this with me. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will go ahead and see you in my next video. Bye!